Okay guys, we're taking a ride to Steve's house to work on the slingshot. I'm supposed to be in the garage working on Junior's car. Shh. Uh, I brought my laptop to see if we can go live. So if we can't go live, uh, they don't want to go live. Uh, I got my camera. So, regardless, there'll be some footage of what goes on. So, and if I do go live, obviously, I'm not going to be able to answer questions. Talk to you later. Yeah, the sun's leaning too much to get it. Well, we're pretty badass. Yeah, I like it. I like it with the black and the and the stripes. Get rid of that fucking slingshot thing on the hood. Okay, just a quick explanation and thank you about the live show. So far, every live show I've done has sucked. <laughs> okay. Um, I know when I'm out here in the garage, I'm too far from my router. That causes problems. Uh, when I was at Steve's house the other night with the slingshot, my computer was working awesome. It said uh, I... Uh, you know, all the bars on the reception and whatever. And any time I hit a key, it was like instant. No lag. So I was like, oh, this is going to work out pretty decent. Okay, I knew you weren't going to be able to see the colors. Okay, you got to understand that thing, that hood is black. And it is these inserts that go in them that are pretty wide. You know, like 10 inches wide. That are root beer. Then the dashboard is root beer, except for the center is black. Then the whole back panel and the side panels were root beer with a little black insert and then there's many more pieces that aren't on yet parts of the front bumper all stuff you guys couldn't see um, it's root beer candy so when the light hits it it looks orange as soon as the light shifts on it I mean it's all different shades of it but it goes to like a dark root beer it was um, they did it with a they tested it out until they got what they wanted they wound up with a platinum base platinum metallic base then the root beer candy, then the clear coat is what they used. Um, here's the things you don't know. Okay, there was three of us standing there, obviously. And yes, I saw the reflection. I saw my legs glowing bright white to make things even worse. But I figured, let me start wearing shorts so they could tone down a little. Um, a, for some reason, my Mac computer videotapes like crap. B, everything is skippy for some reason. I'm not really sure. Same with the audio. Uh, the people you saw standing there was obviously me. The tall guy was Tommy. The shorter guy was Steve. He's the owner of the uh, slingshot. Okay. Um, I did not walk over and read the comments. I wanted to. But as soon as I told them I turned it on live, the two most talkative people in the world decided not to talk. So the two people that talk all the time and joke around decided they weren't going to talk anymore because we were live and they, and they were nervous because they didn't know what was happening. They didn't even know how much they were actually, you know, how much was being videotaped, you know, how big the square was. So that took something that I thought was going to be very entertaining and didn't quite make it so entertaining. Here's the other thing. Steve didn't take the slingshot apart. The guy that did the paintwork, well, Steve helped the guy, but the guy that did the paintwork took it apart and numbered everything. So the hood it was, say, number one, and there was a little box with number one with the bolts. And the bumper was number two in the box. Well, it turns out some of the numbers didn't match what we had. That was the big delay in the beginning, trying to put that front little bumper on. Okay, the guys you were looking at, I mean, you guys know my experience. Steve is a, a master tech at Toyota. Plus, plus his general 
uh, automotive background. Okay, like um, an independent. He was an independent guy for a long time. His father was, I made a video when I showed you that, that 555 or whatever it was, big block Chevy. His father is a retired famous engine builder, race car engine builder, plus a race car driver. Okay, the other guy, Tommy, the tall guy, was a master, I'm not sure the actual term they use, but he was a master BMW tech who has left BMW recently to move on to work on to uh, working on heavy equipment for reasons he he definitely had no problem with the uh, car end of it um, actually his boss is one of my good friends uh, that just turned out to be coincidental um, so there was plenty of enough talent there to put the thing together uh, the problem was Steve is the only one knows what it looked like to begin with uh, even though me and Tommy have seen it many, many times, we just had no idea. We just had bins of parts in front of us. And what you don't know is all those parts that were candied were originally a wrinkle finish. You know, it was a textured finish, a molded plastic textured finish, and they got smoothed down. They were, well, they were made smooth. Then they were body worked and painted. Now they sold the kit that you could bought those panels smooth but added a whole entire kit he would use two pieces and the kit was eleven hundred dollars so instead of using the kit they did the pieces themselves and smoothed them down the guy that did the paint work and the guy that steve helped is a body man that's that's what he does you know that's his thing like i said it was a shame that i couldn't get there to uh see the video of them painting it until six o'clock in the morning um, so it is a lot further as of today than the video you saw uh, the big brunt of it's done we had to stop A because it was getting dark and we were tired we did turn on the spotlight at the end if anybody was still there to see it but uh, we had to wire the stereo back in that thing has you know it has tweeters, woofers, subwoofers nasty amps the whole thing um, there is a lot of parts that are modified on that thing. Someone asked me what engine was in there. He's told me a thousand times, and I keep forgetting. Uh, I was going to ask all these questions, and I was going to read from you guys, but they were nervous enough. Trust me, they didn't even look in the direction of the computer. So I had a feeling it was going to be Skippy, and I didn't even care. They were very nervous, and I think when I send them the video, and the next time we'll make it not so Skippy, um... I think they'll be a little bit more relaxing to see their true personalities. But um, I did see Chris Liberty popped on. We scanned this at the end. I saw Chris Liberty. I saw you dizzy. I saw Dry Shift Drew. I saw Tom Noble. I saw Natasha Flowers. I saw uh, Jimmy C. I saw a snap off, which I'm not really sure who that is. Um, I'm trying to think. Tom Noble, if I didn't just say his name. Uh, was on there and I appreciate you guys for even bearing with it for more than a minute of course Chris Liberty told me right off the bat that it was choppy but I didn't know I turned it on and walked away I did not want to make them any more nervous than they were and trust me they were nervous and if you knew their personalities you wouldn't you wouldn't understand why but they were um, and just to make a quick point Steve who was the shorter one of the three of us is the one that they did the big collection for you dizzy uh when christmas time came and he collected from all those people that's who that's that's who that steve is so i have a couple of friends named steve so so when i say steve don't always think of him um but with, with that uh thanks for watching eventually we'll do a real live show and uh not necessarily we're talking i don't think i'm ever going to do one of those type of shows i'll leave that for the i'll leave that for the pros uh.